Madame Lou Elizabeth Neba. How old are you? I am. I am. I am. 50, I am 61 now. Right. So, um, can you tell us briefly? Describe the process of having this baby, and at what age you had the baby? Yeah, I had the baby at 58 years. Okay. It was not an easy process. I was living by Menda nearly every two weeks and coming down and going back. When I had it, the first thing is that I got it from the news when a lady, a lady of 60 years get to bed. When the news was going on, the CRTV news, television news, so I saw it. I view it on the television. Then I said, then what am I waiting? I should, what if a woman of 60 something years has had? I was then 54. Then why? So Not what, me. So what happened? Tell us. So what you went there and can you describe what happened? What is the first step that you do? Okay, the first step I went, I, I, I was consulted by Dr. Mindibi. Then he wrote me a good number of tests that I should go and do the last test with my husband. So I went, we did all the tests. The way we presented them, then he sent us to professor. When he sent us the professor, that is how professor started following me up. I was coming down. So I came, my first visit here was in 2016. Just when the crisis started in Bermuda. So under that crisis, I was coming and going. And in 2019, January, God answered me. Answered me, that was the second time when they did the implantation. They did the implantation for the second time because they did the first one in April. Then it failed. Then they gave me some treatment. After that treatment, then I continued. Then in January 2019, they did the second implantation and it worked. And that is how I was the next Elizabeth after Zachariah because my name is Elizabeth. So when you did the implantation, during the process of implant, after the implantation, what happens? Do you stay in the hospital or do you go home? No, I. When they did the implantation, I went home. Then after 14 days, I have to come back. They did the test because when they did the implantation, I was in the hospital for three days. Then I was discharged. I went home, then stayed there. After 12 days, I came back. That was 14 days now. They have to check. They check and it was positive. When it was positive, then they called me back because when they came and did the test, they asked me to go back. So when it is positive, then professor calls me. So I was called. Immediately I heard that they called me. I, I started giving glory to God because I know that when they call me, therefore means it is possible. So when they call you during that process, when you come in for the checkup, do you go back to your house and wait for the No, I was there. As I came back, I remained there for two months. Okay. For two months in the hospital. And they were following me up. Then they're giving me drugs to see that the baby holds and strong. So after two months, then I have to go back home. Then I, I stayed here in Yaoundé throughout. I was asked not to go back to Bermuda. I stayed here until my living time. I was coming, checking, checking, checking. How often do you come for check -up? That's what I'm trying to find out. No, it started, the first was, after that was every month. Okay. Then when it was six months, now I was coming every two weeks. Then after two weeks was every week now, then later they asked me to stay in the hospital for another two weeks before the delivering day. So what is uh, the cost? Who incurs that cost? I incurred the cost. I and my husband incurred the cost. Now, what, can you evaluate the cost? If you give an, an estimate of the cost, how much will it cost? No, the, for the cost, well, it depends. It depends on an individual right. because systems are not the same yeah, your own so case. my own cost cannot be the same with another That's what person I want to find out about your own cost well I, for the cost I did not keep it in my head because I, give I, us a range <laughs> anywhere as you are sleeping in the hospital each day is 10,000 francs okay. a night okay. every day that I see in the hospital the, apart from your drugs and consultation is not inside that is just Every day that you sleep there is 10,000 francs. There are any other tests that you are doing, you are paying for. Your consultation you pay for. 
if you consult now and it is after two weeks, you come, you pay another consultation. But if you come where you see within two weeks, you will not pay the consultation. Okay. Each consultation was 10,000. Then echography, we were doing it monthly. Yeah. How much is echography? Echography was 10,000. 10, mm -hmm. So then the lab, uh, lab work, how much are they go for? The labs, it depends because the first lab that I did, for myself, it, was, it cost me about 350,000 francs. Then for my husband, it cost him 180 something thousand. That is the first lab test that we did before they sent us to professor. Mm -hmm. How many children do you have now? No, I have this one. Right. No, by the grace of God, this one is enough. Because with my age, right. I cannot be going in for the second. And the because baby is the fine. She is very fine. Okay. She is very fine. So, okay. now the last question is, what do you want, what, what is it that you want to tell the public? You're giving an opportunity to talk about the grace that you have. So. No, I want to tell every woman or every couple that they are having problems of having the fruit of the womb that they should come to Christ. And they should put God first. Because first of all, professor said they are not the one giving children. They come from God. They are doing their own work. Then God do the final thing. You want to tell anybody here? Oh, I want to, there is, I first of all thank every people, every person who is working in Krasse, because my time being, all of them contributed to it. Because even the person who is the cleaner, even the guard, they did their best. Everybody, right up to professor, they did their best. So I am very grateful to all of them. And I pray that God will continue to bless them and continue to give them the grace, the strength to do more work and put smiles into families.